Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. And grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals. I go out and I go get it. How to code, that's all I know. I don't succeed, then I don't breathe. Success, what does it mean? If I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles, compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles, go take care of your business. Success Chronicles, it's deeper than just winning. Success Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. Today, we have Miss Kaylee Soleil on with us. Uh, great lady doing some great things and truly excited to have her on to share her journey. So first, thanks so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Yes, yes. Well, let's dive into it. I know off air, we talked about your amazing journey, but if you don't mind, you know, sharing a little bit about your story and your journey uh, so that the audience will know, you know, who it, who you are and what it is you do. Sure. Uh, well, I grew up in a small Texas town, um, Stephenville, Texas, and um, I grew up with um, kind of what I was sharing earlier with you, a, a mom that was really um, ill, both, you know, mentally and physically, um, not very present for me. And so school was always my, my outlet, my safe place. And the teachers um, really kind of filled that void for me. Like my school moms were really um, more than that. Um, and I knew that that's exactly what I wanted to do um, one day was to um, teach and do what those teachers did for me. Um, I felt like I had to return the favor. And so I immediately, as soon as I graduated high school, um, kind of enrolled in college, of course, and then um, got busy on my teaching degree. Um, my mom passed away my freshman year of college. And so my sister and I, um, I took her in at the time and um, we she did her senior year of high school at a brand new, brand new place. It was really a challenging time for us. I was starting my teaching journey um, and she was starting that, but together we made it work. Um, and I taught for five years in the classroom and loved every second of it. I didn't think I'd ever, ever leave. Um, it was amazing and still some of the best, best times and joys um, of, of my life. And so with that, I had a leader, um, a principal at the time, and she moved on um, into other things and other role. And I knew then the impact that she made on, on me as an educator um, and that staff and faculty at the time, uh, I wanted to do that for others. And so I went ahead and pursued my, my master's degree, um, got my principal certification and got my assistant principal um, job for Crowley ISD. Um, and I did that for a year and a couple few months. And then just now recently um, got a principal job in the same school district. So that's where I'm serving now. I'm so, so excited to be on this journey and just love all things education. I love it. Good stuff. Well, what are, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Um, I think the first thing is honestly, it sounds a little odd, but getting through um, some of the things I got through in, in my childhood and being able to persevere um, yeah. through that, um, kind of survive some of the, the trauma um, with my sister and to come out kind of on the other side of things um, through a lot of a lot of perseverance. I think that's very something I'm very proud of. And then secondly, um, is of course I had to have a one-year-old son, um, growing that family with my husband has been a really beautiful experience. Um, he's my world, my little baby. And then also I think now recently, um, fulfilling my dream of being a school leader, um, in this role has been, um, something I'm really proud of. So I'm excited. So good. You know, well, just hearing you talk about your journey, uh, hearing you discuss the things that you're proud of, I would consider that to be hugely successful. So let's let's hit on success. What is your definition of success? And so that's a hard question. Um, yeah. And I've thought about it. And that I think that success is different for everyone and how success is measured is different for yes. everyone. Um, and, it, you know, circumstantial, it depends, I think. Ultimately, for me, I feel success is when I am passionate about what I'm doing um, and inspiring and empowering other people to love what they do just as much, um, but also just being able to instill um, 
in others and grow others and make them feel like they can be the very best versions of themselves. Um, so just that loving what you do and being passionate about um, your journey and what you're doing. Yeah. So good. So good. Well, um, now on off script a little bit, if you don't mind, sure. I want to just throw maybe three words or phrases at you. And if you don't mind, talk about what comes to mind or heart uh, mm-hmm. for you when you hear these words or phrases. You good with that? Sure. All right. So the first the first phrase is live and learn. Mm. I love that. Yeah, come on. So I think that that part learn always sticks with me um, just because in order to succeed, I feel you have to be committed to continuously learning yourself Um, and you can preach it and say, yeah, you know, you're always wanting to continuously grow and learn, but until you're really doing that. um, And sometimes that I feel like um, could be making a lot of mistakes along the way, but owning those um, and learning from them because in life we're going to make mistakes Um, and through grace and being able to come out, above that, um, but really being able to be vulnerable enough to understand that we are not done learning ever um, and being committed to growing as a person, but then also um, growing the people around us, growing leaders around us, um, not just focusing kind of on ourselves in that. That's what that's what came to me when you said that. Yeah, I like that. Um, you said the magic G word, grace. You know, mm-hmm. thank God for grace and forgiveness, because uh, <laughs> none, none of us are perfect. We right. all make mistakes, and the beauty of it is, you know, it's a. I think it's a mindset shift. You know, once you you know view failures as not final, but you view failures as learning opportunities, it allows you to continue to learn and grow. Absolutely. Yeah, which, and you talked about, you know, growing leaders, growing the people around you. That leads into my next um, phrase, if you will, words, and it's quality relationships. Hmm. Relationships are everything. Um, I think in all walks of life, but in my educational journey, especially, um, we know that, you know, as teachers, students, won't learn um, from people that they don't like, but without that relationship piece, no real learning will take place, I believe. Um, And I think that building intentional relationships with our children um, makes the biggest difference in the world. Um, And it has to be done. And I always say, you know, you can teach people how to um, learn the newest curriculum. You can teach people, um, you know, teaching strategies and techniques, but you can't teach people how to love. Um, And those relationships are, everything. So um, I just feel that that that's everything. So everyone communicates and then a few people connect. And I think with sharing our stories and sharing our whys um, and making time to intentionally listen to other people's story, because everyone's got a story, right? Um, But being able to open that space and build relationships with those around you, um, that's truly everything. That's how trust is built. That's how connections are formed. Um, And I don't think any real work can be done until those relationships are in place. And that's for adults, children, everyone in between. Um, It's just, it's everything. And taking that time, that intentional time to learn the people um, before you even learn the work for the systems involved in the work is very, very important. So before I go to the next one, uh, I have one word in response to that. Mm -hmm. And, And that word is Boom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, that was three words. My right. man. <laughs> well, uh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. All right. So, so before we get into the last word, I'm going to pause a little bit and give you a warning because this is the good one, Kaylee. This is the good okay. one right here. Okay. All right. So the last word is legacy. Mm. Come on. That's a good one. You're right. Yeah. I warned you. Mm, man, you did. Legacy. I think that's, hmm, this could go a lot of different ways. Um, I think legacy, when you are living life in terms of thinking, am I going to be a legacy? How can I make 
myself and what I'm doing a legacy for others. I think that that's truly, um, that mindset is really what sets you on the road for success. Um, and also learning from the legacies that have been in that field or in that realm of life. Um, but understanding that even though you're working real hard to be a legacy and you want to make that difference, you want people to remember the way you made them feel, not what you did, but the way you made them feel. Then I feel that that's, first of all, that's a legacy. Um, and then if you, my conversations recently with, um, teachers, veteran teachers, especially I've asked, um, tell me about the best leader you ever had and how, why were they a legacy to you? And they're all of them. Every single one almost starts with the same words. They cared about me. They listened intensely. They cared about me as a human, as a person and everything else followed. And I feel that that's just it. It's the way you make people feel it's, um, having that passion that flows out love. I think leading with love is everything. Um, and just again, making people feel good about themselves, about the work that they're doing, empowering and encouraging and equipping them with skills that, um, help them succeed as well. And then I think that's what makes the legacy. It trickles on, um, but not just how I can make myself this great leader or this great person, because that's not what it's about. It's about how you made the other people feel and how you grew the other people around you to be um, legacies themselves. So does that answer your question? <laughs> hey, so I already used my boom. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if I give you some sound effects like, ooh, we, ooh. Or, we? <laughs> that ooh. works. <laughs> no so so good um i think that when we can move in an intentional way each moment mm-hmm. of each day uh it, it allows us to add that value each moment of each day and you know there was something that you said in there that that really like hit me in the heart because i think it's super important and and, and it's about listening mm-hmm. you know like i think i commend you for doing that like you talked about you know asking you like like what's been the you know traits of those great leaders that you've had right. and I think that, that when you open yourself up to even make the effort to figure that out mm-hmm. oh you got them you know right. because like there's there's lots of people that won't even do that mm-hmm. and so I think that that extra little effort goes a long way in building uh living maintaining that legacy in our lives Right. I think it's important that we just one more thought to that is we have to push our own egos aside if we want to be true leaders and want to be a legacy, because if your ego's in the way, you're never going to get you're never going to get to that um, that point of being a legacy, I believe. And so just really serving people and doing what you can to love and serve people, I think, is what makes you someone a legacy. I'm glad you said because I was going to say something that, about that too. <laughs> nice. say like, like, like understanding that I'm just going to say it like it is that it ain't about me. Mm-mm. You know, like just understanding like it's bigger than me. Um, right. you know, it's about what I can do to help and, and add value. I think when when we take that perspective uh, and have that mindset, it allows us all to learn and grow together. Right. And it's that's a like. Thing. Oh my gosh, that's like rare air, right? Yeah. Like that's like uh, that's like in like a place that's like everything's moving in slow motion, right? right. <laughs> like uh, uh, the kids are all acting good, the teachers it's are amazing, it. the parents are great, you know, like all of this <laughs> is rare air when you it when, is. when you have that situation and and everyone involved uh remembers the experience forever. Mm. Absolutely. I'll mm. wait for you to give me some sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some snaps. <laughs> there we go. It. There you go. Well, uh, as, as we close, I'd love for you to get opportunity to share with the audience where they can go follow you and check you out and show you some love with all of the amazing things you have going on. For sure. I would love, that's my favorite thing is to connect with people, learn from others. So Follow me on Twitter, um, all the things, reach out because I just love to learn from others and, and grow together. There you go. Well, again, I just want to say thanks so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Truly appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Keep being great. Let's go. <laughs> and thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.